the grueling 12-mile obstacle course that's attracted 1.5 million fitness maniacs looking to test their physical and mental endurance is back. This year, the creators behind the Tough Mudder are upping the ante. Here to tell us more about what's in store for Tough Mudder Nation in 2015, CEO and co-founder Will Dean. Will, thanks for being here. Oh, thank you for having me. I want to talk first about the business side of this. So sure. 1.5 million people have done it. You guys mm -hmm. have raised more than 10 million for charity. We have. More than 75 million in annual revenues. Mm -hmm. What do you want to grow this into this year? So I think an important thing to understand what Tough Mudder is, uh, you've got to first talk about what it's not. And what it's not is a race. What it is is a challenge. It's about a group of people getting together, doing something that's bigger than themselves. This year we have a completely new set of obstacles. And I think a Tough Mudder, you know, profits and revenues are a secondary consideration to us to what we're really trying to do, which is build this global movement of people that like to challenge themselves, get outside and do things as part of a team and have good fun. But that said, you guys still have some new sponsors coming on this year, presumably some more revenue coming on as well. Well, well that part's nice, but also helping us produce a better event. So we're very excited to be talking about the fact we're partnering with Anheuser-Busch and their Shock Top brand in 2015. We're bringing Chipotle to our events as well. They're going to be adding some great features. You're going to see new obstacles. We actually have a completely new set of obstacles for yeah, 2015. Let's talk about some of those new obstacles. So I have to say the ones that caught my eye were the crybaby mm -hmm. obstacle and the ring of fire. But, yep. you know, tell me a little bit about this. Sure. So we have 20 obstacles in total. So we can talk about those two first. So Crybaby uh, takes a simulated tear gas and takes people through a chamber where it's a little disorientating, but you come out of the other side. We've tested this rigorously. In the Tough Mudder, we're very proud of our safety record. The most dangerous part of doing a Tough Mudder is the drive to the Tough Mudder. So the event itself is very, very safe, um, but you crawl through this chamber. It's a little disorientating. It definitely is intimidating, but it's not uh, dangerous, but it challenges your mental grit, and that's what that obstacle is all How about. How do you do a ring of fire safely? Well, so you build it to a set of specifications. You make sure that the jump that we take people off is set up in a way that even if people were to trip or they were to fall, that when they fall, they're falling into a water pit. We have a lot of safety crew there. So as I said, we're over 20 times safer than a triathlon statistically. The most dangerous part is uh, running, uh, driving to the event, not the running the event itself. And it's a team event. It's actually pretty good fun. And the fact that we've had eight people over the age of 80 do our event, and we're seeing increasingly large number of women do our events. You know, it's, it's something that's accessible and it's a lot of fun. It's not just for super athletes. Now, I think it's interesting that you guys chose tear gas because obviously this is something we usually think of as for mm -hmm. police using it to break up a crowd. It mm -hmm. has a controversial history. We just saw that in Ferguson last mm -hmm. year with police mm -hmm. using tear gas to break up a riot. Sure. Are you worried that this might seem a little bit tone deaf to people, this idea of using tear gas and what's, you know, kind of a fun obstacle course? Sure. I think the important thing to understand is what we're trying to do is create something that's challenging and intimidating. And a big, big part of what Tough Mudder is about is challenging people mentally as well as physically. And the whole point of Tough Mudder is actually it's supposed to be fun. And you may say, well, what's fun about getting tear gas? Well, it's the build up to it. It's that sense of anticipation. And when you've got through it, you've all done something that's the same together. And one of the things I'm very proud of is when I run my, wear my Tough Mudder t-shirt and I go running outside, I see someone who's also done a Tough Mudder. They'll always give me a high five be it in London, be it in Berlin, be it here in New York City, because you're bigger, you're part of something that's bigger than yourself. But you're, you're not worried mother. about this sort of controversial history that might come along with no. using tear gas or something I, like no, that. I think the people who do a Tough Mudder are pretty sensible and they understand that, you know, just like our Arctic Enema, which is our ice obstacle or electroshock therapy, you know, we're building something that's safe and you know, I think we've thought about this and you know, I think this is going to be a fun, exciting new addition to the event. All right, now you said more women are trying these mm -hmm. out. I'm thinking of doing one this year, but still it says it's about 70% men who do it, about 30% women. What are some of the tricks to kind of get you through the obstacle course? Maybe your selling point for women to say they can actually do sure. this. So the first thing to understand is 95% of people do our event as part of a team. And when you get to an event, everyone will help you through it. Only 5-10% of people are elite athletes. Most of the people who do it, and you'll be in good company, over 2 million people will have done our event by the end of this year. Um, you're going to see people that are frankly pretty normal shaped people and there's going to be this huge tremendous support to get you through and while it might sound a little bit scary running through an obstacle of tear gas or going through a ring of fire mentally I know you have it um, to come and do it and uh, we have 60 events across the United States this year we have one in uh, Jersey City which uh, you should uh, come along to I have no doubt you'll do just fine I'll work on my pull-ups between now and then Will Dean thanks very much for thank being you for here. having me